It's eight o'clock. Time for the latest news. Here's Hillary. Good morning. Rugby commentator Murray Mexted admits he was surprised to hear Waisaki Naholo's name called out in the All Blacks Rugby World Cup squad. It was expected the 24-year-old winger wouldn't be in the team after breaking his legs in a test match, just one leg, in a test match six weeks ago. But Naholo's made a remarkable recovery and Mexted told the programme he's the man for the job. I was delighted to see that though because uh, you know you've got to pick players for their core skill um, requirements and wingers they need to score tries and without doubt he's been the one that scored all the tries in Super Rugby. He was outstanding. Nahoro will sit out until the third World Cup match as he regains his fitness from just the one broken leg. Uh, the New Zealand College of Midwives is launching legal action against the government today to get better pay for its workers. The college believes midwives are being paid less because they're women and is filing a discrimination case under the Bill of Rights Act. Angela McLeod from the Pay Equality Challenge Coalition fully supports the case. It's a great case to take. I mean, we've been involved with the Christine Bartlett case and to hear another group of women of uh, female-dominated workplace taking a case around equal pay is fantastic. The college says the health minister has refused to meet to discuss the issue. Landcorp's failing net operating profit is... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you... Is that Paul Henry? He's a terrible influence. I'm so sorry. Oh, right. <laughs> um, this land prices has the government worried. <laughs> Uh, Landcorp has posted a net operating profit of $4.9 million to the year of June, down 84% on last year's $30 million. John Key told the government the show, uh, the government's concerned. The government's concern is, is that their balance sheet's growing and they're borrowing more money and the, you know we, we just know from Solid Energy the risk is that that's all fine until things Absolutely. go to custom. We're already seeing downturn dairy and you know, the, all of a sudden the taxpayers got a problem. Despite the government's worry, the company's chief executive says its result was solid given the current challenges. A Taranaki woman will appear in court today after leading police on a drunken high-speed chase with four children in the car. The 28-year-old Howard arrested fled from the police. Oh, God. <laughs> Excuse me. Checkpoint on Friday night. She blew more than four times the legal breath limit and has been charged with excess breath, alcohol, dangerous driving, failing to stop for police and ill treatment of the children. The Labour leader has been left red-faced after two of his MPs defied his order not to attend a fundraising dinner for a Northland charter school. Labour's Associate Education spokesman Calvin Davis and fellow MP Penne <laughs> in Whangarei at the weekend. Andrew Little says the party's always been opposed to charter schools. I said, you know, it wouldn't necessarily be a good look. We've had a very strong position on charter schools. There have been some real stuff-ups with them. Um, this might not look good. But Little rejects claims that the pair defied him, saying they attended for family reasons. Today's the deadline for corrections to apologise to an inmate who was assaulted while at Mount Eden Prison. He was supposed to be kept in segregation for his own safety but was twice bashed by other prisoners due to failings by Serco staff. The Ombudsman reprimanded Serco and the Corrections Department for failing to ensure the prisoner's safety and said he deserved an apology. Corrections Minister Sam Lotuinga has made it clear he expects the department to apologise. Wellington's mayor is pushing for Aucklanders to move to the capital. Celia Wade-Brown says they should ditch slow traffic and soaring house prices to move to a city offering better opportunities and lifestyle. I can get to work in half an hour and go for a walk in the town belt at lunchtime and go and watch the dolphins in the bay. So it's a pretty good, pretty good place to be. And I think the 150th anniversary of being the capital really showcased all of the places you can go to here. The mayor made the calls in an open letter after a day trip to Auckland. That's the news. It's four past eight. Oof. Hey. I'd, I'd I'm sorry. I, I, that, then the problem is, once you start getting the giggles, you giggle through inappropriate stuff, and I apologise. Oh, and this is the interesting thing, isn't it? And this is the thing you find out when you've been in broadcasting for a while. The more inappropriate it is, the more pressure there is on you, and the harder it is not to giggle. Like, if there's a story which is moderately funny, you don't laugh at all. Mm. But then all of a sudden, you know, death, doom and gloom, and the pressure is on not to laugh. Yeah. <coughs> you apologies. succumbed. Apologies. No, you don't need to apologise. No. It's life. Anyway. It's just life. It's not like no one was killed, were they? You know, it's no, but do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like people used to say to me, you know, in the early days when I first started out, when there was some potential that I might have been slightly nervous, and they used to say, you know, are you nervous? And I used to think, seriously, at the end of the day, what's the worst that can happen? That's right. It's not like we've got 250 people out the back relying on us to drive the plane well. <laughs> drive the plane well. Do you know? You yeah. have a bad, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, exactly, right. nothing.